Hello, thank you for inviting us. I'm Michael Vidolabs. Um, and this is Patricia and Gniewos is somewhere here. Okay. Uh, I would love to talk today about radically different artificial intelligence and the idea of Internet of Humans. But let me start first with Internet of Things. This is a great thing which is changing the world. We put sensors actually everywhere in our cars, homes, we wear them. <coughs> But what we believe, the best sensors are still ignored, is us humans. We experience reality, we tweet about it, we leave reviews, and actually the amount of information we humans are producing, um, since the last year we produce more information than from the beginning of the, hum of the mankind. Um, but why, is, why we are ignored? It's because computers are so lame in understanding language. And actually, understand language is understanding language is the ultimate barrier, ultimate thing in artificial intelligence. Mm. <coughs> oh, we, we just arrived. You're still very jet lagged. Sorry for this. <laughs> just have a look. Okay. And we humans, we we describe everything. We describe other humans, celebrities, politicians. We describe products, we describe, um, we talk about places, uh, we talk about things. Actually, we talk about everything. And to and our mission with FIDO is, and using our radically different artificial intelligence is to make value of this untapped pool of knowledge which we are all producing, all, uh, we are all producing all the time. So. Let me show you some three simple examples of, of this ar different, radically different artificial intelligence, how it works. So for example, we are visiting the world, and this is one of, of the demo we have created. Let's start with Computer History Museum. And the system is listening to all the voices out there and will tell us, Computer Museum is a great place for a date, it's a great place for geeks, and we should check the garbage machine, and other stuff, and we should avoid the coffee, the cloud <laughs> coffee inside there, and we should go early, and we shouldn't go on Monday on Tuesday. It's actually funny because I, I invited one of my investors from Europe to, to go there and went on Tuesday and was closed, so I haven't used my own system uh, for this. But um, the idea is that, what does it mean to understand? Uh, here are lawyers, which are very smart, and it means they understand the law. So I can ask you any question, and you can answer the question. Understanding means we know something, we can ask any question. So the idea of our artificial intelligence is the ability to ask any question to social media about everything. So we understand tweets, blogs, uh, but also legal documents or research papers, which are very, very important. Um, let me show you other example. So um, let's let's start with. Let's say Tinder. Okay, so many people you using Tinder. Who's using Tinder here? <laughs> wow, thank you. Thank you. Um, so all the people are tweeting, leaving reviews about Tinder. Let's figure out what we can learn from the Internet of Humans. And it tells us, for example, it tells us what user ask you to fix, what's missing. Or it tells us what user asks you to add to your application, what user asks you to make, or why people are deleting to Tinder actually. So this, this all knowledge is, is presented for, for app developers. They can ask any of these questions to the crowd and get answers from, about what is happening. But let, let us show you what we are working currently on. Um, the idea is that you can ask any question and get answers from the crowd. So let's start with um, help with finding my car. So if we need help finding my cars, it finds our own applications, which people like us decided it helps them find a car. We call it sometimes bullshit cutter, so whatever you say about your hotel or your apps is not relevant. We only listen to the people, what they have decided helps them or move it forward. Let's make another example. That's one my favorite one investor made this example and was testing our system. 
my wife is snoring was his problem. <laughs> And it finds us all kind of apps which helps us uh, with snoring partners, from relaxing melodies to, to different systems. <laughs> and it's one of my favorite examples. Because like we are not buying things, we're looking for experience. So what kind of apps would, will make us feel sexy and self-confident? <laughs> Let's ask the AI. Oh, it finds some. There's a lot of apps which which helps us to be more sexy, self-confident, like workout, etc. I'm very happy that on the third place is still astronomy. It's still a great way to impress ladies, as other people say. So actually, what what we have created as uh, is a way how we can teach computers to understand human logic, but also to understand the domain expertise and common sense knowledge. Because like understanding language is not only words, semantic, it's all the four pieces together. And um, I will go to market, it's how we are making money, is understanding what every one of us is saying about any kind of drugs, how we are using that, combining with other pharmaceuticals. And it's this is a very critical thing for product managers in the, in the pharma industry to understand the real world evidence, how it's actually being used, how it works, what are the side effects and everything else around it. Thank you very much. Are there questions for the audience? Now, what kind of AI... Oh, okay, please, please continue. Oh, what kind of AI techniques are you using? A hidden Markov thing, or are you using... A... Mm -hmm. I just called the chief science officer, oh, which will answer your question more details. <laughs> What kind of uh, artificial intelligence <laughs> are we using? So yeah, we we started with a deep uh, grammar parser, but we decided to make it uh, rule-based <coughs> because uh, machine learning techniques are not uh, not enough for generalization of, of language. And then we uh, put on top of the parser uh, SQL-like query language to uh, incorporate domain expertise and common sense knowledge into information extraction system. So both combined together allows us to extract any kind of questions. I think that, that the most important <coughs> thing for artificial intelligence is to, to have the right proportion between machines and humans. So we figure out what are the best tasks for humans, and this is a programming language, so they can code that. And the left, the rest, like more, more so of uh, the rest of semantic, etc., are left for for computers. It's three times more accurate on the sentence level than Stanford parser right now. So this allows us to be very precise and extract information from any kind of sources. Mm -hmm. So you just process text or you just process speech? Well? We are focusing on processing text, but we are happy to work with, with speech. We are using use new ones to convert it to text. But our focus is unstructured data and user-generated content. So I have a question on your parser, for example. Are you selling your technology? Are you open sourcing it? Are you basically, people are coming to you to solve specific problems? Or are you using Thank you for this question. So our go to market is provide the analytic platform. So this, this app analytic platform is being used right now, but, but we are focusing on pharma right now. But the other goal, what we are having, we are looking for people who want to learn how to code in this LDQL language, and we are very happy to provide people the access to the API, and also like how they can extract information using this AI by their own. So if you could leave us a contact, we're happy to, to, to get in touch and, and provide you with when we are ready with the API access and the early version of the language. But the big vision, we want to open the language and that everyone can code any kind of questions in the future. This is like our vision, how we can become the platform for Internet of Humans, that everyone could create his own question in his domain and his expertise. Okay, guys, that's all the time. But thank you very much, Final Labs. Thank you.